I've made hundreds of videos about anime, making hundreds of great points, and these motherfuckers don't even fucking respect that fact. These motherfuckers are gonna make fun of me for making 14 videos about the Astro Score and completely re fucking ignore the incredible work I've done for the industry. I'm the greatest anime YouTuber. If you don't think so, fuck you. Ooh, ooh, we have a special snowflake! <laughs> Hey there, nerds and nerdettes. It seems that no matter where you go on YouTube, drama always seems to get started by someone, and the anime YouTuber community is no exception. About two weeks ago, an anime YouTuber by the name of Digibro went on a 30-minute drunken rant on how most anime-themed channels don't meet his standards and thus are complete utter garbage. I've linked the full video in the description. For those of you who are unfamiliar with who he is, Digibro makes in-depth analytical videos on anime in a very academic manner, which, while informative and at times very insightful, comes off as very dry. I will also link his main channel in the description so you can get a better idea of his style. The abridged version of this rant is that most anime YouTubers he has a beef with don't approach their videos in the same critical academic mindset as he does and how their peers don't criticize their work like his circle appears does. First and foremost, YouTube is not an academic journal in which all content is up for peer review. While I do believe that nothing is above criticism, no one is obliged to have their work reviewed by others on this platform. Second, he states that he cannot respect someone if he cannot enjoy their content. Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert class! So Digi, I have a question. If Adolf Hitler was resurrected from the dead and started an anime analysis channel that made content you personally enjoyed, would you be able to respect him despite knowing what he was responsible for? I await your answer. Third, Digi mentions that other anime YouTubers don't talk to him. Well, Digi, I hate to break that fragile eagle of yours, but the universe does not revolve around you. Have you taken a minute to think that maybe there's a chance that they haven't heard of you? Personally, I'm going to admit that I have never heard of Casey Neistat until recently, and apparently he's a big fucking deal. But I digress. How about this? How about shooting them a private message saying that maybe you want to talk with them about their content? You know, just just suggestion. Lastly, when you say this... They were fucking ignore the incredible work I've done for the industry. What is it that you have exactly done? other than make videos about this industry. Where are the articles praising for your work for the industry? Where are the interviews where Shinichiro Watanabe praises you for your contributions to this? They're nowhere to be found. Nerds, nerdettes, this is an example of how too much salt in your diet along with inflated ego is bad for you. It leads you to say some very dumb shit like this. Everyone else sucks. Everyone else sucks fucking dick. Everyone else blows ass. If you if you weren't listed, you probably suck. Way to be a pretentious hipster fuck. Digi, look. I get that you're passionate about your work. But you got to take five steps back and realize that YouTubers out there don't cater specifically to you. The sooner you understand that, the better. I was not put on God's good green earth to please and entertain you. If you have a problem with this, feel free to tweet at me, Twitter link in the description, so we can talk about this like adults. Or is his royal majesty too good to converse with the peasantry? Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to writing my one year anniversary script. Until next time nerds and nerdettes. Stay nerdy. I just wanna let you know, you're a stupid fucking cunt. Go ahead and run your mouth, pussy, I don't give a fuck. You're a stupid piece of shit, you're a stupid fucking bitch. Get the fuck up off my dick, get the fuck up off my dick. Like